what gets associates engaged? What gets them fired up? What gets them wanting to come to work? What gets them engaged? Now, not everyone's engaged. Not everyone is an avid worker. You know, I've been in that position. I've been discouraged. I've, I've, I've slept in in the morning. I've hit the snooze button. And so have you guys. Everyone here can admit it, whether they like to or not. You know, we as board of directors, we have a problem. And it's what we're lacking in our stores. We're lacking engagement. We want to see our growth figures high. We want to see our reclamation and loss figures low. So what are we, what are we doing wrong, guys? What, what aren't we doing? As chairman of, of our human relations department and avid reader of sociology texts, I, know, I can pinpoint it. Not everyone is working together. Not everyone is engaged, and that's a problem. With engagement dwindling in our stores, we need to solve this. We need to solve it quick. I propose to you guys a software system, kind of like Facebook, but not, not necessarily so. A software system that can get our employees wanting to come to work instead of having to come to work. With this software program, we can, we can get our employees to want to be achievers to make everything look perfect, go the extra mile, the extra push, to connect our business customers more to our store, to increase loyalty with our regular shoppers, and to just get general happiness in our stores to increase. We want to see stuff like this in our produce department. We want to see stuff like this in our facing and deli departments. We want to see everything just avidly amazing. But what do we see? We see people like this. Is this associate happy? Yes. She's a cashier. And what do our customers see when they see a face like that? What do you guys see? <laughs> I don't see anything good. Now, according to Robert Half International, 13% of talented, good looking, hard working, intelligent, avid employees year round, they quit. They quit because they're not recognized. Our store. That's one in ten. That's thirteen and a hundred people quitting because you know they don't they don't want to be there anymore. We're, us as corporate executives, we need to figure out what this problem is. We need to understand motivation versus maintenance. Now you can fulfill every single factor, maintenance, and you won't you won't get a motivated employee. You only get them neutral. You won't get them happy, and you won't get them sad. This is brought to you by sociologist Dr. Frederick Hertzberg. He's the leading sociologist and economist, and he tells us that motivation is where employees are engaged in their work, and they are they they want responsibility. They want to be recognized. They want they want they just want to be there at work. But maintenance factors, if we fulfill all of them, we're, that's our like our policies. That's our that's the salary we're giving to them. That's the, that's, the, that's the work conditions that we put them in and our supervisors. We can get all that right, but they still won't be motivated. They won't be motivated to come to work. And we need to change that. If you take a look up here, this is a little thing I've drawn together. This is how we could motivate our employees. This is, a, this is our little program. This is Spotlight right here. And as you can see, you know, I could, I could go up there and and I could, I could recognize employees. And this is kind of a little basic layout. I can't really show you too much right now, but I'll get to that. Now, up to this point, we don't, we don't have this. We just have word of mouth recognition. We have managers walking by and saying, hey, hey what's your name? Oh, oh okay, Megan. Hey, good job. You know, Megan's a hard worker, but that recognition, that sucks. That, that makes her unengaged. That makes her not happy. Like, who wants to come to work to see that? Now, we've been doing good, but good is not great, and great is not fantastic, and fantastic is where we want to be as a company. Now, I've read tons of texts regarding sociology, and as manager of the Human Relations Department, I've, I've seen it firsthand in many cases. Fantastic is when everyone is engaged. Now, we're all working towards 
the same goal. We want profits high, losses low. And, but we're not getting there. Do you know why? It's because it's a term called social action. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a term coined by sociologists, once again, Max Weber. Max Weber says that individuals affect, by their, react, by their actions, they affect the reactions of individuals. So we're all working together in a very social, social environment. Emphasis on the social aspect of this, guys. You may not notice it, but we're all interconnected by smiling, by looking at each other. And how do we get that to affect engagement? How do we get people to interact with each other, to increase engagement? That's the sole problem here. We need to, we need to focus on that. We need, we need positive social action. We need to come together, and we need to come to work because we want to, not just because we have to. You know, managers are not recognizing employees and that's because us as corporate office and officers are not recognizing recognizing our managers. So it's a trickle down effect. It, it all works together. We need to realize that. It's just a problem with our communication. You know, we sit in offices and we have banquets and we make we make tons of money, but we rely on our stores. We rely on our bottom feet to do all of our running. We don't rely on up top. It's very important that we realize that, guys. Just with a little bit, there's always just with a little bit of a TLC and elbow grease, we can we can we can battle this barrier to engagement. We can get all of our associates engaged. Implementing a social media site, a social program where everyone can be engaged and recognized by employees and managers, and encouraging people to log in and you know, talk to their friends and say, hey, what a good job you did today. You'd be so surprised. According to Sylvia Cotran with brightbold.com, employee recognition can and will result in fulfilling the goals that we as corporate set for our stores. Our growth wants employees take action and strive to be achievers can and will keep our reclamation and loss numbers low and our growth figures high. That's what we want to see as company. According to Amy Wise with Promero.com, companies utilizing technology in their stores and in their frontline employees, which our employees at our stores are, they are, they are warriors, they are our frontline. They're what bring in our money from our customers, from our businesses. Utilizing technology within our stores only increases in uncovering new insight that we've never seen, that we would never even think of. And it, it fulfills our short-term goals, and it also paves the way for our long-term goals and growth. So I'm, I'm calling out to you guys. I'm telling you that it's important that we realize our flaws. Smart and Final has flaws in engagement and recognizing each other. Up to now, it's not, it hasn't been so good, but we can, we can be pioneers in changing that. It's our responsibility as, as chair members and corporate members to take action and spotlight a new recognition program that can do that. Now, it's going to be hard. Associate engagement is at record lows within our company and nationwide, but, but we can do it. If you take a look right here, I have 10, just 10 different factors that people can just can recognize each other on balanced life, on respect, on encouraging openness, on accountability. All those things, when you see those and someone says, hey, good job on, on your integrity at work and doing what you need to do, how would that affect you? Only in a positive manner. Now, I'd like all of you chair members with your handheld device or if you go home tonight and use your laptop to log into smartfinal.achievers.com. I've had a little team put a, a basic layout together of what this what this kind of looks like, and you can log in there, you can check it out, and you'll get the you'll, you'll get the basic gist of it, and you'll you'll find that it's kind of addicting. It's like social media. You'll you'll find that being on this site wants you to stay on this site, and that being an achiever makes you want to be an achiever, 
And if you're not, you want to be those guys. You want to be the hardworking individuals that you have potential being. It's all about business here. It's all about business here, guys. And with associate engagement and this program, we can only see our numbers increase and decrease, but we want to see them increase and decrease. And so I hope you guys thought that this presentation was very clear.